There's an interesting case reported there today in the media, in the newspapers. It's to do with a gentleman. He was an estranged son of a lady who passed away in 2015. But he brought a claim to the High Court under Section 117 of the Succession Act 1965. Now I'll put the section up on the screen there and you can have a look at it. But basically it provides that where on application by or on behalf of a child of a testator, the court is of opinion that the testator has failed in his moral duty to make proper provision for the child in accordance with his means, whether by his will or otherwise, the court may order that such provision shall be made for the child out of the estate as the court thinks just. In other words, in the Succession, Succession Act 1965, Section 117, there's an obligation on a parent to make proper provision for a child in accordance with his means. Now, what proper provision would always change and vary from one situation to another? But obviously somebody of significant means will have a very, very hard time, or the estate will have a very hard time, resisting an application by a child who gets absolutely zip, zero, nada, zero out of the estate. In this particular case, the man who's in his 60s now, he believed that he was born in a mother and baby home, and he has been awarded 225,000 out of the estate of his estranged birth mother. The retired man applied under the Section 117 of the Succession Act and his case was against his mother's niece who acted as executrix of the estate. The judge, Judge Siobhan, Mr. Justice Siobhan Stack, ruled that the plaintiff had discharged the high onus on him required by Section 117 to demonstrate that his mother had failed in her moral duty to make proper provision to him in her will. And the judge said that it was undisputed that the deceased never made any provision for the man during her lifetime. She travelled, the mother did, to his football games when he played nearby as a child. Uh, at the time he had noticed her but did not know who she was. Uh, but the relationship then took a turn for the worst, apparently. The judge said the court empathises with the man's feelings, but must bear in mind that it has no direct evidence of his mother's experiences and the pressures on her, and it cannot stand in judgment on her. She died then at an advanced age in 2015. The woman had no surviving spouse or other children, so she had no moral duty to anyone at the time of her death, other than the plaintiff in this case, the gentleman in his 60s, who has been now awarded 225000 In her will, made in 2004, she left her home and 70 acres of farmland to her nephew, the contents of the house to her niece, and several thousand euros to another niece and a friend. She also left money to a local curate for saying of masses. The value, the net value of the woman's estate when she passed away was €779,000. Uh, the niece gave evidence that the lady had lived a frugal lifestyle and so on. Bank statements showed that she did not have a large income. In the proceedings, the plaintiff emphasised his upbringing and the fact that his mother and her family never provided for him at any time during his life. Uh, his mother was unmarried when she gave birth to him in a very different Ireland in the 1950s, uh, while his father died shortly before his birth. The man was reared then by a different family and was loved and cared for and so on. The man met his mother when he was in his 20s but the relationship deteriorated causing great unhappiness and upset to him. The judge uh, took the, or said the plaintiff took early retirement and is in, currently in receipt of a pension. Now the man himself and his wife have significant assets including a home that they own outright and another home in the wife's name that they rent out but they have a modest income. But the judge found that, given the absence of any competing moral claim and her intention to leave considerable assets to a series of nieces and nephews, the woman ought to have provided for the plaintiff in her will. 
and the judge ruled that a lump sum of €225,000 should be awarded to the plaintiff charged on the estate's agricultural lands, that's the estate of the deceased uh, lady. So that is the position, it's an interesting one, people are always given out and complaining and come to me wanting to challenge wills and this, that and the other. There is provision there in the Succession Act 1965, section 117, a child can bring a claim against the estate of a deceased parent who they claim has failed in their moral duty which is provided for in the Act, the Succession Act 1965, to make proper provision for the child. What is proper provision, as I say, in any particular circumstance will vary from time to time. For example, a parent may not give anything to a child but in the will, but they may have provided very, very well during their lifetime and the child may have squandered it or blown it or drank it or whatever. Um, but this case is not unique, certainly not unique, but the particular circumstances where there was only one child of the lady, it doesn't seem to have been cast in doubt that he was indeed her son. Uh, she was a, an unmarried mother at the time of the birth. It seems that there was only one child and nothing, no provision whatsoever was made for him. So if there was any case that was going to succeed under the Succession Act 1965, Section 117, this was certainly one because the lady had given him absolutely nothing. The deceased, deceased mother. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.